All right, guys, before we go ahead and actually look at the U.S. map, let's go ahead and make sure we understand a little more of how the pressure systems are moving. So there's a quick experiment that you can do at home that will show you this. All right, what you want to do is we'll look at first a high pressure system. So looking at a high pressure system, I want you to see how to do it. First off, you know, make this kind of little duck. You put all your fingers together like this, and what you're going to do is you're going to set it on a piece of paper or board like this, and what we're going to do in a minute is we're going to make sure that we can turn clockwise, okay, the direction a clock moves. Now, ideally, this is way easier to do if you have someone else helping you out. I don't, so that's okay. So what we'll do is I'll put my hand here, ready to turn. I'm going to label all of my fingers. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, I turn my hand a little bit clockwise, and it opens up when I do that as well. So now I'm at one, two, three, four, and five. Turn more and open more. Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. And that's probably good right there. So now taking a look, what happens, this is our pattern right here. This is what's happening inside of a high pressure system, okay? So inside of a high pressure system, what you have is your hand is squishing down because you have more pressure pushing down, so the palm is getting closer and closer to it. But you notice it's also spinning in this direction in a clockwise motion. That's what happens in high pressure. And we're going to see how that plays out on the U.S. in just a second, okay? Hold that for a minute. There we go. Now we'll also take a quick look at a low pressure system. Now with a low pressure system, everything is raising up and away, okay, because things are rising. So this time, instead of starting with your hand like this, all pinched close together and dropping down in on it and pushing down, we're going to do the opposite. We're going to start far out, and then we're going to slowly pull everything up and in. So since we've said high and lower opposites, not only am I not turning clockwise now, now I'm starting open-handed, and I'm also going to spin counterclockwise, the opposite direction that a clock would move. So as we take a look, here we go. I start like this, hand open, just labeling my points. One, two, three, four, five. It turns a little and pulls in tighter. One, two, three, four, five. Turns a little, pulls in. One, two, three three, four, five, turns a little, pulls in tight. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I connect my ones together. Let's see, they're going in this direction now. Twos together, they were going this way. Threes were going this way. Fours and fives. Some of my thumb looked really weird on that one. Okay, so noticing our pattern on this one. Now, my palm was pushing, was lifting up higher because that's what's happening with the air. Everything was pulling up and everything is spinning counterclockwise. It's really important that we understand that the two pressure systems are turning in different ways to each other. It really affects what happens with the weather based on how those things are turning. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully just one more video after this.